headed into Kroger's just as it starts to rain. Me and my buddy, Technician777, gonna do a uh, video today, but if the weather permits, I'm gonna pick up some meat so we can uh, cook something on his barrel pit cooker. All right, I found these pork loins. They're partially frozen, but I'm gonna see if they'll work. These are four bucks. Originally nine dollars on sale for four bucks. Go get one of those. What I would love to have is a half chicken, but I don't think they have half chickens. See leg quarters. Whole chickens and no half chickens. Alright, I just asked the uh, butcher if he would cut a chicken in half for me. I think that's how we want to try to do that. I think it'd be better if we cut it in half and he said he would have, he would cut it in half for me. Thank you so much, bro. Oh, thank you, have a good day. All right, thank you. All right, we got our chicken cut in half. We got our ribs. I think I might get one package of smoked Robido sausage and we're gonna head to the checkout and head over to Technician 777's house and get today started with some smoking in the pit barrel smoker. Oh no. Come on my buddy. Oh, no. Come on my buddy Technician <laughs> Technician 777. Absolutely. I'm leaving 777's house. Oh, man. Yeah, I got my barrel with his barrel yeah. pit smoker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even before it's over. <laughs> Possession is nine tenths of the law. I'll have to go in the middle of the night and get it done. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I start to come get it. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. All right, yes, Thank indeed. All right, yep. Man. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> And I stopped my, by my friend's house, Technician 775, and I picked up this contraption. This is called a pit barrel cooker. Now, I think a company called Pit Barrel Cookers make this, but he made his own. And this thing is unique. It has, uh, you take your meat and you hang your meat down in the barrel, you start up your coals, you put your bowl down, your coal down in the barrel first. You hang your meat from these rods, which you made for some rebar, and you let it slow cook. And this is gonna cook, the ribs and the chicken are gonna cook for about four hours. We're gonna smoke them, we're gonna cook them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start this up. These are some cube charcoal. This is your regular charcoal. And the thing that uh, Technician 775 taught me is, he doesn't use charcoal. He uses these wax fire starters by Weber. Weber is the company that makes my uh, my Big Easy, all this turkey fryer. So I am, whoa. Let's see, can I get this thing out of here without destroying it? There we go. This is a waxy substance that uh, it's kind of like, yeah, kind of like a wax cube, and it holds the fire, so this is what we use to start the fire. So we kind of put this down in the middle, just use one of them, kind of put the charcoal and the wood around it. We're gonna fire that up, and when we do that, we're gonna sit this down in the bottom of the barrel, and we're gonna go prep our meat while this comes up to temperature, so it's dried out. Pull both of them out. We're gonna slip this down in the bottom of the barrel. And we're gonna go prep our meat and we'll be right back to get started. Put these in. We're gonna use some hooks and hang our meat and see what we're working with. We'll be right back. All right, while we're waiting on the fire to uh, get kicked off, it's still in there. Uh, getting set. I want to mention a little bit about the, uh, the uh, pit. I love the way uh, Technician 775 did this. He put a large thermometer on the side 
so old people can see this. And uh, he also, the lid, he put a hook on the lid, on the lid so we can uh, hang it from the side. Uh, he also has a rack over here on the side so we can hang these. So when we get ready to uh, take the meat out with the hooks, we can hook the hooks and pick, take it out without burning ourselves. So that's just a little bit about this. This is a, I believe it's a 20 gallon drum. And he originally got this drum, it was an aircraft parts drum. And uh, they shipped the part that fit perfectly in this drum. And uh, once they uh, got rid of the parts, they didn't need the part anymore. The drum was perfect. Clean it out, burn it out, and it's perfect for this barrel pit. So that's a little bit about the pit. Once this fire gets going, it gets up to temperature, about 220 or so, we'll be back and we'll get started with our ribs and our chicken. All right, you can see this thing is smoking now. She's getting busy. We're gonna go ahead and take our meat. And here's the unique thing about these, these hooks. I think you take it, yep, you hook it in the sharp end. So we're gonna take the biggest part of our rib and we're gonna go about two bones down and we're gonna hook the ribs. And since we got extra hooks, I think I'm gonna use two hooks. that in there. There we go. We're going to take that. We're going to put that in just like so. I think we want to close this vent off a little bit because she is going to town. We're going to take the chicken. We're going to put a hook through the chicken. A couple of inches down. Go all the way through. We're gonna hang the chicken on this side. We're gonna hang this one. All right, we're gonna run the hook through here. All ready. We're gonna hang that one like so. And we're gonna hang our sausage. I'm not sure we should go through the sausage, so I'm just gonna hang it like so. And we're gonna put that right there. Slide the ribs over. And there you have it. We're gonna put the lid on this puppy. We close that off. We're at about 200 degrees, just where we need to be. We're gonna let this cook for about three to four hours. We'll come back and check it about every hour on the hour. And we're gonna see what we got. So y'all bear with me, we'll be back in about three hours and see if we got what we anticipated we should have. All right fam, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes, two hours. So the sausage should be ready. So we're gonna pull the sausage off. We're gonna take our hook removal tool. We're gonna grab the hook. There it is. Beautiful. We're going to give the chicken and the ribs about another hour and a half. And we'll see what we're working with. We'll be back. Ma'am, it's been approximately about four hours we've had our meat on, our ribs and our chicken hash. If you recall, I pulled the sausage off earlier and unfortunately the sausage didn't make it it didn't survive but that tells you one thing this pent barrel smoker does what it's advertised to do and thanks to my boy technician 775 and the good people at pit barrel makers oh yeah oh those ribs are ready what i was going to do was take these and put them in the oven at about 250 for the rest of the afternoon for a couple of hours. But I'm not sure that's gonna be necessary. The chicken might need to go in the oven for a while. My wife likes the chicken dark, but that looks like it's ready to go to me. And these little hooks, these little things to pick up, beautiful idea. Once again, hats off to technician 
775, my boy. We've been friends for about 30 years. He always got my back. I appreciate him letting me borrow this. And I think I'm gonna have to look, go ahead and let him make me one or we get the stuff and we build one together. This thing is awesome. So us here at This and That, we give the pit barrel cooker two thumbs up. I can't say enough good things about it. The temperature stayed at around 225, I'm sorry, about a 175 to about 200. It dropped off to about 150 at the end. That's why I went ahead and pulled this off. But uh, it cooked solid for about four hours. Every now and then to bring the temperature back up, I would drop another couple of those block charcoals in there and she kick right back off. Love it. So once again, y'all take care. Have a great day. It's your boy Rosie. Don't forget, if you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down and a comment. And please be sure to subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the old like bell. Y'all take care. Have a great day. It's your boy Rosie. Peace.